And I'm back yet again. I say welcome to my sandbox. And as you can see, I'm a bit stiffer than I usually am. This is because I'm in the, from my side, not so beloved 2D mode, the desktop mode, which is also available in high fidelity. Uh, I don't like it so much because I can't express myself, my hands are just an animation. And uh, yeah, in the wife I have these lovely VR lenses which fix my astigmatism. And when I go to desktop I always have to search for my glasses and put up with my dusty monitor. So I hope that we really can be in VR all the time, sometime soon. But I went into desktop mode to show you something, which is how to get information on assets registered in the High Fidelity blockchain. So you can do that in VR2 by using your lasers, but I can't do that on my own head or uh, body wear, so I do it with the mouse as everybody else can do. So I bring up my mouse and right click on my head which brings up the wonderful information eye, which I left click, and this gives me the tablet with some additional information on my head. So I get a proof of purchase certificate. The hat is called Top Hat, I, Case Princess, am, as I've guessed in the shop, the rightful owner of this hat, and I've purchased the fourth piece of that hat ever being sold. So I can see some more information if I click on view in market. So here comes the really exciting stuff I wanted to come away, which is the creator of that hat is Bertran Evarini. Bertran, I would make a bow if I were in VR now. I really love your artwork and I hope I can buy some more pieces of you in the future. So I can also look up some more information like the Creative Commons license and the description. But for now I'm going to close the tablet and quickly Go back into we are again. Be right back. And I'm back, back and we are. This is just so much better. Yeah, finally. And yo, I was so keen to get out of that desktop mode that I forgot some important information to tell you, which is that you can also buy these lovely items we've seen on Avatar Island using your Marketplace app on the tablet. So you click to Market and then, if it loads, you can scroll through all kinds of nice digital ad assets and see what hits your taste and either get it for free like that one or buy it. But I've done enough shopping for today and I also have to tell you Avatar Island has like the great advantage that you can try the stuff on there and you can go there with your best friend and having her or him tell you how nice you look and that you just have to shop for that and so I think both ideas are nice uh, to take advantage of. And if I got you curious now, I got good news for you, which is you can also take part in the HFC High Fidelity Blockchain Enabled Shopping Experience. So all you have to do is open a High Fidelity account and assign yourself a nice username and write an email to info at highfidelity.com asking to take part 
in the closed beta of the HFC blockchain system. And this is gonna be great because we get a grant of 10,000 HFC, which is like a hundred dollars. So never waste free money. And to make it easy for you, I put also these links on the science chat, which I hope I can get up now. So let me just adjust that for you. So now it must be nice to read. Write an email with your username asking to take part in the closed HFC beta test to info at highfidelity.com and below that I've also put a, a link for the documentation which is going to walk you through all the uh, registration procedure for your high fidelity blockchain wallet and how to get that grant and whatsoever. So I'm going to get rid of the sign chat again. Uh, I have to tell you some important information on what not to do. Which is, oh, this is so embarrassing, I really have to hide here. Don't become the HFC pizza. That one. That was me. Don't become it. So the story goes back to that guy who, when Bitcoin was like a brand new thing, spent his first self-mined 10,000 Bitcoin on actual real life pizzas. That was like the first transaction in Bitcoin ever made. And he had these Bitcoins mined and they were worth like $30. And he set up a forum post like, whoever gets me two pizzas delivered uh, gets my 10,000 Bitcoin. And everybody hopes this guy, who is now called the Bitcoin Pizza, had a really tasty meal because nowadays these pizzas would be worth 200 million dollars. And the same almost happened to me with my HFC grant. Well, Luckily, HFC is going to be like a more stable currency than Bitcoin, but I messed up pretty well too. So what happened was I set up my wallet for the very first time. I secured my passphrase, like I wrote it down. I even wrote it on the <laughs> at some secret place. <laughs> and as well, I secured the first private key I had been issued. So I put it on a different hard drive, on a USB stick, and all seemed nice and fine. Until the next day I found out that I hadn't been accepted to the beta test yet and I had to do the procedure again. So what do I do? I put in the passphrase again and I find out that I have been issued a second key, which is different from the first one. So what did stupid chaos do? Yeah, I'm going to be all tidied up and don't have chaos in my folder structure. So I cleared out the first key. I deleted it from the USB drives and I put it into my Windows trash can. And next thing I heard was when I asked the very nice and smart specialist for the uh, HFC blockchain what to do about that, uh, I got the answer, well, all is fine as long as you can remember your passphrase and as long as you have saved the very first key. Because any keys which are coming uh, after that are like secondary keys. This is an option for like secondary wallets. But what's important is the first one. And I was like, what the stupid thing. I just put that key into the trash. But luckily, I'm not always 
a very uh, unmessy person, so I didn't clear my trash out yet, lucky for me, and I got my private key, the first one issued to me back, and I refrained from becoming the HFC pizza. So please, whatever you do on the HFC blockchain, remember three things. Don't put your poodle in the microwave. Uh, okay, that was something different. Never forget your passphrase and always store the first key you issued. So I think now we are all set to go and we hopefully can get rid of that stupid thing here. And now I'm all chilled out and ready for my close up. And I just want to say thank you to High Fidelity. It's, I mean, like a year ago, I went into that funky social we are capable platform as a gamer. And yeah, kind of you come in as a noob uh, and you stay as a at least semi, semi nerd. And it's just, so exciting to like have this hands-on experience on that stuff like a year ago if somebody would have told me like you're gonna run a server which is my sandbox or you're even gonna pay uh, some company to have an even better server for my domain I would have said wow uh, tell me where that's possible and same with with blockchain and cryptocurrency. That would have been something like, okay, let's wait for some nice Facebook-like application to make the race. <coughs> and now suddenly I'm like uh, experiencing, taking part in making this new cryptocurrency uh, economy uh, rolling. And that's amazing. Still, I have to confess that blockchain is still like a David Lynch or David Kronberg movie to me, like one of the weird Davids. Uh, it's like, you know, like Mulholland Drive or Videodrome. Uh, you always think, oh, now I got the story, now I understand how it works, and then your next question opens up, and the next thing is there to be researched. So that's why I don't want to uh, too much at least pretend that I uh, am like a big specialist here, but um, Philip Rosedale did a great video on it, which I'm going to put on the side chat for you now. High Fidelity's blockchain, virtual goods and identity. This is how Philip's wonderful and really clearly explaining video is called. And it can be found on YouTube, uh, on High Fidelity's channel or under that cryptic link I posted in the last line. And it's explaining all about High Fidelity's new commerce system and their groundbreaking blockchain technology. And if you're like only half as flashed and impressed by all these wonders of VR or at the moment wonders of blockchain, you gonna have a lot of fun with it or Tasty brain food, yummy, yummy. So I'm gonna get some new input on Avatar Island yet again now. There has opened the Body Mart, which actually lets you buy avatars or get them for free. So, but I think I'm gonna stay with this one. This is just me. So that was Chaos We Are Lock, wonderful stories on We Are, from We Are. Or should I rather call it? Chaos Adventures in High Fidelity and I hope we see each other again and thank you so much for watching. See you on the blockchain. I'll be back.